hello friends today we are going to see we are going to learn how to install netbeans ide and the version is 8.0.2 in ubuntu 14.10 and how to configure it for c and c++ so let's uh, start by downloading some packages and uh, some li library files and etc first you will need is install the JDK latest version and which you can do it by going to Ubuntu software center type here the JDK JDK and you will get a list of different Java de development kits and choose the latest one and I think at this time it is uh, version 8 update 40 so just install it I have on already installed it so I'm not going to install it again then after this you will going to need the JDB you just type uh, GDB and you will get GNU debugger which is very important so make sure that you install it uh, also just click here and it will ask you for the root password and install it then third is third one is type GCC and install it again install it also uh, and then type G++ the last one and install it again so we have uh, installed four different packages uh, for, for your uh, it, it, it is JDK JDB GCC and G++ after installing all these go to the uh, netbeans.org site and download the latest netbeans ID if you want to do uh, HTML C++ uh, Java all things you can download the first choose the platform uh, Ubuntu is a, a distro of Linux it is derived from Linux so choose Linux x86 for 32 and x64 for 64 bit then according to your need like we need C++ so if you want you can uh, just download this this version and if you need uh, all of the packages all of these softwares if, if you want to uh, do Java HTML PHP download this I have installed this so just click on this and you will get a package you will get a file with extension .sh which stands for script uh, then download it I have already downloaded it so I'm not going to download it again then go to terminal uh, just make sure that uh, where user file is my file is in home and then downloads here it is then uh, sorry I'm repeating then go to the terminal uh, here is terminal we have to make this uh, file script file into an executable for that you have to type ch mode plus x no 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 first uh, go to uh, change the directory default directory to that folder where you have uh, uh, placed that file script file so in my case it is in it is in uh, downloads so change it, change it to the downloads folder so, so that we will type cd and downloads uh, over here so it is done now uh, do uh, do it ch mode and then plus x and then the file name and uh, which is I think let me have done this earlier so it will be present should be present um, here it is here yeah. here it is so just do it and it's done 
it is converted into an executable file now it can be uh, executed so again you will what you will need is type sh here it is then type sh dot slash type sh dot slash then the files name that means uh, the version name linux dot sh it will start installing the, it uh, this software and uh, it will uh, run the installation wizard so will you will be here well i have already already installed it uh, so i cannot i think I, I cannot install it again just follow the just click on next 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 throughout the process and uh, internet should be connected and all, all will be good the software will be installed i'm going to cancel it yes after installing uh, go here you will find me admin save shortcut so let's run it and check it uh, how do how we will configure it and is it running good or not if, if you have installed all the inst uh, required packages kits or libraries that I have told uh, in the starting it will run I think here we are Let's start a new project. We'll check it on uh, some samples. And then we will make a program. There are samples. Uh, here are C++ samples. Let's make it welcome. Um, let's use the wel uh, use the welcome one project name welcome one. then click on so uh, in the sources file click on the double click on the welcome.ccc it will be opened in the editor okay so now we have to check is this working uh, fine or not so right click on it and Uh, we have to check whether the debugging part is working or not so wait a minute I will be back uh, just make a breakpoint here it's done uh, now you can do is you can click debug if uh, all the installation is good uh, it will be running starting GDB see here it's working fine okay okay everything is fine just you can click on build here it is built if it build build successful then it shows that everything is fine then run it yes it is fine let's make a program and check whether it is uh, or we can make a new program and not use a sample or not so let's make a new project finish We have to, sorry, we have to make the C++ program, so I have to choose the C++ application. application then click on sources, then main.cpp and type here, well we are just using a 
short program include iStream.iStream uh, we'll just use a uh, cout program uh, hello world that's it uh, let's check it whether it is working fine or not first we will build it yes oh, oh. I have to click on I had to click on this but uh, well let's do it again build it successful and then run it here you can see hello world so it's done uh, NetBeans is configured thank you very much uh, please like and subscribe for more videos